but I know me fish a man But I'm to catch this fish up Me I'm to drop this fish up Hey guys! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel We have someone today in lazy office Hey! I'll allow her to introduce this herself This is Helene's Connor Helene's Connor Helene Coco yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel <laughs> It's a collaboration video. So after watching this one, part one, head over to her channel. For the, part two, for yes. the ending, you know? The ending, ending part of it. The men, the men, sugar cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Coco 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 everywhere. If you are new to the channel, please consider joining the family. Support us by subscribing to the channel. Head over to her channel and support her as well. Okay. Let her know where you are coming from. Tell her that Coco Mama sends you. You get what I mean? That's what Coco we do Coco Mama and <laughs> Ellen Coco. Okay. Yeah, your yeah, name is that you see? <laughs> see the I, I forgot that she got Coco on her oh, name as well. <laughs> Ellen Coco and the Coco Mama. We are here to Coco and Coro Coro for you guys. Uh, so it's gonna be like a Q and A kind of video. We'll be asking each other questions. Okay. And of course, she's telling me she wants to come back to Nigeria, as in permanently. Why me? I'm telling her I want to relocate. <laughs> Can you see the irony of life, guys? Uh -huh. <laughs> for me, I feel like abroad life is boring. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boring. Mm, very, very boring. That's how I see it. I feel like um, abroad life, you've got nothing than to go to work and that's it. Hmm. Go to work. Yes, you have all these facilities, all these amenities to enjoy. But then, without your family, you know? So, that's, what, that's why me, I want to come back to Nigeria. But to you, Hmm. I have so many reasons I want to relocate. Number one, high cost of living. Have you heard of the current el electricity bill? How, do you know how much we now pay for electricity? In a month, like in my house, before I usually recharge highest 20k, if it's too much. But right now, I don't even think 50k can recharge your electricity bill. That and you're not even making it. We're not around. Yani, we don't have... Uh, prepaid yet we paid for prepaid but they have not delivered they have okay. not installed it okay. prepaid and what we are using currently is solar you mm -hmm. can see we're filming now with solar now we came back and my, according to my sister-in-law Nepal brought bill of more than hundred thousand and for how many months now we were not around so but tell you, you know you should have gone to go and apply they said we can't uh, we can't uh, what we call it Suspend. We can't suspend anymore. Why can't you suspend anymore? This is what I was told. Though no, I've not gone to no, the office. We no, you, to... you have rights to suspend your rights. It's your right to suspend. Like, I don't want to use, take it. You have the right to do that. So probably we will have to go there go by there. ourselves. Go there, yes. Go there by yourself. Mm. Go there by yourself. Suspend it. But the only thing is that you have to pay for all the previous areas. You okay. see that 100,000, you pay for it then you can now suspend the lights. Then you suspend it whenever you know you're coming back. You can use two days before or three days before. Tell somebody to go and To apply. reactivate it. Okay. Yes, reactivate it for you. But can I give you a shock of your life? What? You are complaining of uh, electricity bill yeah. being expensive yeah. compared to what you used to pay before. Yeah. If you compare it abroad, yeah. you are even going to pay like times time of what you are paying now. Okay. It's just like a uh, cost of uh, living, like uh, food, food prices and everything. People tend to complain a lot that in Nigeria food is very cheap. For us coming abroad, it's cheaper here. Mm. House rent is more expensive abroad compared to here. But the problem is people are not aiming. Like, the issue we have in Nigeria is it's either you don't have a job or you have a job but you are living from hand to mouth. What you make 
once in a month. Once, what, what you, your salary is nothing mm -hmm. compared to. Thank the, you for saying it. Yeah, compared because, to the bills. Because what's the they minimum are not wage? Paying what they're supposed to. What's the minimum wage, for instance, in Doha? That's, that you are, you are, you are, you are, you are working. Minimum wage, let's say for a domestic worker, yeah. would be nothing less than three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. You up, know that from three hundred dollars. That's up. minimum wage for a domestic worker. Do you know some, that some get paid per uh -huh. hour? Do you they know that so they make more? Do you know that that three hundred dollar now that dollar is down? No, that it, it has gone down to one two. You know before dollar even reached spike to one thousand eight hundred because the value of our naira was continuously depreciating. Mm -hmm. But right now that it's a little bit steady at one thousand two hundred. Eh. Times that 300 you're talking about is like 360,000 naira you get every month. Every as, month, as a, a, a domestic worker, yes, you get it every now, month. Now, if you are a skilled worker, you earn more, okay? Probably uh, is, your minimum might be from a thousand, okay? From a thousand, one thousand, and that thousand is like 1.2 million naira. Mm. That's one that that one thousand dollars. So that's one point two million naira. Now let me shock you. Our minimum wage here is thirty thousand naira. Even the light bill they are bringing for you, minimum wage cannot pay. One um one thing is what a domestic worker. One funny thing again I noticed is Nigerian system they need to do better. They need to do something about okay. it. Okay. What a cleaner aims abroad. A civil servant, or let me even say a medical doctor, is even earning less compared to what a cleaner, you know, a house manager mm -hmm. would earn abroad. Nigeria can do better. Nigeria needs to do better and work on this. People uh, are not so, so that's, that's the what they're supposed to. That's the frustrating part of life. For instance, if you go abroad mm -hmm. and work for five years and you are earning as a cleaner. And you can save a little bit from it. Eh? You come back here and start business. You are okay. That's true. Do you understand me? But if it's here that you want to work, you work all your life. You have not even seen money to generate, to, 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 to use and even feed your family. Think of saving. Not to talk of saving. Mm. Okay, the school system. It's not as if there are good schools. But the good schools are so, so expensive. They are good schools, but they are expensive. You can't even afford it. <laughs> the people that afford it are politicians. So, will you stay here for hunger to kill you and your family when you have an opportunity to, to go out up, and yeah. make it big and come back? Maybe probably you're, you're thinking of coming back because probably you're okay now. You're looking at your pocket. Your pocket is telling you to come back, right? Yeah, but there's another thing <laughs> I want to... <laughs> no, it's not even like... Uh, it's not all about money. Uh -huh. I mean, peace of mind is... What matters most to me. So okay. my, I may not even have a lot of savings. I may not even have, which I don't have. Uh, it's not like I've saved the. Uh, because I, I'm one person that I don't believe in saving my money and leaving it in the bank. Okay. I believe in investment. Okay. So that's a, me, mm -hmm. a way of saving mm -hmm. as well okay. for future. I don't believe, like, if you ask me how much I have in my bank account. You will be shocked that I don't have anything because I don't believe in keeping my money in the bank and waiting before you know it. One problem will come up, or one relative or one family member will come up with a story that will collect everything, or even you might spend it. But if you invest that money, you know that the money is not with you but it's somewhere. What matters most to me is peace of mind and my happiness, mm. you know, um, family also. Mm. That's what matters to me most. <laughs> Nigerian system, Nigeria, uh, Nigerian system is not encouraging workers to stay. But abroad, you will be shocked that even though you are getting or making what you ought to make mm. because of the regulation, because of the way government regulated everything, you'll be shocked that if you are not keen to stay, it will not be enough. It will still become the same case as someone who is in Nigeria working. The difference is again the amenities. Probably abroad, you are if you are sick, you have good hospital to attend to. Okay. You have electricity two for seven, okay. good roads, okay. all these amenities, water, clean water. Okay. At least you have clean water to 
use. You don't have to struggle for all these things. That's the difference. And the but, small money you save again is millions here. Okay, now coming to savings, eh? it depends uh, on you. Uh -huh. My father will always say something to me. If you can't save penny, you can't save pounds. Mm. So now and again, it doesn't really matter where you are, whether you are abroad or you are back home. Mm. If you don't have that saving culture in you, mm. you won't be able to save. Mm. The mm. amenities, yes. Free education, at least for those of us that have young children. Mm -hmm. Okay, it really their system is really okay. Mm. For the children, okay. at least for their education, you know that one is sorted. Yeah, you health. will be cracked. Yeah, you will not health. die unnecessarily. You will not you die not careless death. To die for. You are you are not gonna die. Small, die. small, small inflammation. You can even die here mm. due to mismanagement. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the money to take care of yourself in a good hospital, agree. Even the good hospital self because of medical negligence, anything can, can happen. happen at any time. Yeah, they, uh, and of course. I don't and know people, people don't, people don't get to answer for their mistakes. If you have power uh, above, you can do anything, do any nonsense, and get away with it here. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it happens over there. We always joke with it when I was in nursing school that okay. anybody in medical field got a license to kill, uh -huh. which is true. Uh -huh now. <laughs> yani, at the end of the day, you are gone. Uh -huh. The person is gone and nothing will happen. And nobody will answer. Nobody for will it. question. Even when it's will. pure negligence. Mm, you can See, tell. let me tell you. You're talking about peace of mind now. Peace of mind only comes when you feel you cannot eat. For somebody that is hungry, that can't even get enough money to feed his family. I think the person is thinking of going over there to make that money. Then when the person has made that money, the person will not start thinking of peace of mind start thinking of coming home yes now because hunger will not even let you to know that you don't have peace of mind you have peace of mind <laughs> hunger can smash your whole system you will not know that you have peace of mind until you not have money you will not check it hey ah now i'm looking for peace of mind <laughs> maybe when you even come back the insecurity yeah kidnap killing everything you will start thinking well, it's also, like the peace of mind is not even here there's no country that is 100 percent safe uh, you know where I am currently? Uh, people will always tell you that, you know what, in the Middle East, Blue uh, Hakata is very, very safe. Uh, which I will tell you is true. Mm. You can leave your child, a mine at home, and be sure that if you come back, nothing will happen. If you have lost something, maybe somebody can even pick it. Let's say you are working and your phone dropped and you lost your phone. Somebody can even ring you and be like, please, where are you? I have your phone with you. It can happen here also. Now, even at that, people believe that if you stay in certain places, you feel safe, nothing will happen. But even at that, you still need to be mindful of what you do. You still need to take precaution. You still need to look after your things. You still but your whole security power is not does not rely only on you. Over here, every of your security relies solely on your efforts. If you don't keep yourself safe, the government will not even keep it for you. Our government has And failed if us. anything should happen to you, eh? Our government has Nobody will will be uh, will be questioned. questioned or brought to book. No. Even when they are seeing it that this is that is, murder, that, that is corruption. Many many a times people will not even be brought to book for a murder case. So how do you explain that? Do you understand me? A lot of things is getting people scared here. You find out that they are still investigating murder, still investigating murder. Last two years or three years, we lost one of our colleagues that is our chairman in our Enugu union over there at work there. Up to today, they are still investigating that what murder case. What happened to him? We don't know. They, they just found him dead, stabbed. They caught him with a knife. Up to today, in that murder home. case. Yeah. Outside, he went out. He went out, maybe to club or do something in the night. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Here yeah, in Ebony State, yes. Do you understand me? So, like, and up to today, nobody has been brought to book for what happened to him. You're scared. The small thing you're seeing, you're even scared. Like, so these are the challenges. Yeah. So you see, one thing in this life, Charles, if you are where you are, where you are not, 
you will be thirsty for it. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You'll be hungry for it. But then, eh, check yourself very well. If you feel you're okay, because satisfaction depends on you. It's when you tell yourself you're satisfied that you're satisfied. Satisfaction depends on you. If you feel you're okay and you want to stay here, no problem. If you feel you're okay abroad and you want to come back, no problem. Just come where you have peace of mind. If it's abroad you think you're going, no problem, go abroad. But if we are to compare the standard of living, staying abroad and here, I think I will choose abroad. For the sake of my children. Then when I get old, I will choose Nigeria. For the sake of family So which country do you want enjoyment. to relocate to? And if you have connection, I do how. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah. I would like, like to relocate to Canada. Okay. If anybody has connection, please do. Canada, baby. <laughs> for me, I feel like uh, I can. Ah. I feel like I can survive in Canada. Ah, why? Because of the cold. Okay, the cold is too much. I would prefer to. When I reach there, the I look for blankets, right? <laughs> 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 I look for blankets. Anyway, um. USO is fine too. If mm. you have connection, I don't mind going to US. But you know, I heard Canada is easier. Okay. Uh, to move to Canada, is actually, US it's easier. easier to move to uh, US. So. Especially okay. if you are a skilled worker, like okay. you are in medical field. Yeah. Though the processing takes time, but as soon as you are through with your documentation, mm -hmm. you are through with the the, the whole um, like yeah, if you follow up with the whole processing, doing your exam, NCLEX, and all whatnot for your for your field, I'm not sure, but for nursing, you have to get your NCLEX, pass your English test, pass your NCLEX and all the verification evaluation of documentation once you are done it's easy the processing in canada i think is similar to us as well okay UK, so, what about uk uk i don't want to go there what happened the videos i watch <laughs> <laughs> you know this you see have, have you ever heard about beggars got no choice <laughs> <laughs> The videos I've to, watched, if I'm to choose, you want to move abroad? Why are you Canada. so selective? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm to choose, I will choose Canada from the videos I've watched. Too. If you have reason best known to you that will, will make you to prefer UK or US, please drop it in the comment section. Have you ever heard anything hey. like, like no place like home? I don't come red, like come shine. Have you ever heard anything like that? Our home is home, yeah. You don't, know what, you don't know what you are enjoying. When I get guys, home, guys, I will come I back come home. home. When I get old, <laughs> when I get old, I will come back home. Yeah, is it not okay like that? Old age, I will just come back home and enjoy my old age here. That's if things have not escalated by then. We are praying for things to actually get better, so that that's, all of us I think can, that's, that's, can remain that's it. at home. Mm, that's okay. what I want to say. I think the key thing here is let's just pray that our country will get better. Our country will be okay. Like our government should fix everything. Because if you look at it, no place like home, Yani. You you're running away from your country because of insecurity. When you get there, you gotta experience the same thing. Then what will you do? If you go there. If you go there for guys. A hawker was knocked down by this public transport in front of me. I hope she gets better. Guys, you remember last December we were working here fixing the compound? Yeah, this is yeah, 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 This is yeah. it, guys. This is where we intend to do the kitchen. Guys, this wall, we intend to close this wall.
Ayun nga. Pick a check one. Well, I know you could have another top was there. This is Gandhi. Gandhi. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We made it to the village, guys. We are currently in the village too. So what is left is this side. This side is left. You see where the fence is? That's the boundary. This side is left because we are planning to do like a sit out here. A kitchen. Something outside kitchen like a bush bar kind of thing. So once we map out the position for that, then we will complete this other part. For the front side, I'm gonna show you. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to bring this side up as well. We are home, sweating, sweating, sweating. Don't mind the noise from the fire. Yes, it's coming from the farm. Anyway, we made it home. We just went to the village to see the progress of the floor, how the outcome looks like. Well, not bad, not bad. Just that we need to do like proper cleaning, sweeping, and of course, making it more layer to make it beautiful and smooth. Mm. Oh? Mm -hmm. uh, put the plastic outside. Put it in the backyard. Guys, I'm dying of sweat here. Mm -hmm. Just put it around. You need to go in. You don't need to go out with the crepes. Pick everything out. You're the one I want out. And you just say you will that. Put the chair in the back. Put the chair in the back. Focus how I start to hit I'm making I can't believe all oh. But I gotta be a go far away I Say I am looking for a sister You are my lover She gave the dollar She didn't wear the sand Say I am looking for a sister You are my lover She gave the dollar uh, she say give me assurance, assurance. Give my baby assurance. Give my baby lifetime insurance. Give me assurance, assurance. Give my baby assurance. Give my baby lifetime insurance. Say big a day, heavy heavy, baby you I 
start to fail You're the one I need, oh We focus how I start to hate And if I ever leave, oh I quit that kind of me to go far away Far away Say I am looking for a sister But you're my, my lover She get a dollar She the way the sun knows I am looking for a sister Show my my lover She get the dollar She say give me assurance Assurance Give my baby assurance Give my baby lifetime assurance Give me assurance Assurance Give my baby assurance Give my baby life to live in show Say biggie biggie Heavy heavy Baby they want me in Assurance, assurance, 
I'm freaking, freaking out here. And of course, I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'm starting another one. I'm starting actually a new vlog, which will be traveling vlog, yes. No, no, I'm starting a new vlog because I will be going to the market, international market, a boy's to 
pick up some few stuff and then we'll take it from there all right guys if you watched it this moment do not forget to give this video thumbs up subscribe to the channel yes subscribe support Coco mama i'm sweating here i'm prepping the soup i'm cooking i'm tired i just came from the village and i still picked my ring light at least to have something for you guys so support Coco mama by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel of course i'm gonna see you guys in my next one peace out peace out peace out bye 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 guys Put it on me. No, you like that she my brother. We gon' live forever. Money island to the mainland. Pulling up, pinging up, pinging up.